So guys, you have been getting to know what 3D printing is. You have seen FDM printers, but you would have noticed a limitation, which is a limited small print space, or need to reset the printer after each print. But what if there is a different kind of printer, an FDM printer, which have taken the strides to solve this problem. This is where the Bell 3D printer comes into the picture. So what are Bell 3D printers? These are the FDM printers with conveyor belt arrangement in an axis which give them the ability to print continuously and in addition to regular models you can print extremely large parts or mass produce smaller items the first generation came about with the creation of black belt printer in 2017 produced by black belt 3d a dutch company has stated the goal of finding more innovation in 3d printing so how do they work pencil well, printers used phase deposition modeling to print but this isn't your standard cartesian delta or even polar fdm printer it is a whole new different technique that has no other name than Bell 3D printer. Unlike FDM printers, the Bell 3D printers use tilted nozzles when printing. Importantly, this is less of a standard Cartesian frame with its top tilted sideways in more of a core XY gantry with one side tilted downwards. Because of the hot end is suspended from core XY like frame, the bell pulls and pushes prints away from the nozzle. This means the hot end travels within the XY plane while the belt travels in Z axis, the Y axis related to the gantry. As a result, belt printers have described as in having infinite Z axis. But yes, you need an infinitely long conveyor to print infinitely. Hence, you can theoretically print infinitely. Belt 3D printers also allow for mass producing smaller parts. They are able to do this as long there is a way to remove the print and get it off the belt or to fall it off naturally. Belt 3D printers have some major benefits and also have some disadvantages. So what are the pros? The pros are the infinite 3D printing for mass production and ability to print very long parts and it can also print in PLA and PETG. Partially heated bed is possible and has no loss in average print speed. And the cons are the continuous printing requires additional support structures and it also can't print at high speeds. High temperature heated beds are also not possible and can't print in certain materials such as ABS. Lower quality results are not uncommon and high quality printers can be very expensive and it is still in development. So what is the history behind these belt 3D printers? The first belt style 3D printer was developed by NYC based Charles Pax in 2010. It was a motorized belt that fit around the MakerBot cupcake heated platform. This product was subsequently patented by MakerBot much to the consternation of the MakerBot community, which at the time believed the company to be true to open source principles and felt betrayed. But this pattern describes a process in which only the build plate is different. The hot end system remains as it exists in virtually all FF3D printers. Thus, it is only used for, for unloading a printer, not for infinite 3D printing. After the MakerBot ABP faded away, we heard little on this concept until only a couple of years ago. Statetis, the owner of MakerBot, continued off a continuous 3D printing demonstrator a few years ago. It was perhaps the ultimate application of PAC's original concept as they developed an array of basic 3D printers that printed on rolls of plastic. These would be cut off and dropped into a bin of sorting and provided a means for continuous 3D printing. Strangely, after that public demonstration in 2017, no one has heard about this concept from Statetis. Things changed when a Netherlands startup Black Belt 3D announced a revolutionary new approach in addition to using a Bell Build platform that Black Belt approach involved in 3D printing at a 45 degree angle. This allowed for continuous 3D printing described above, as in fact quite different from the MakerBot patent. There are different purposes for the two approaches. PAX is for removal of prints, while the Black Belt approach is also for infinite 3D printing. It was a fantastic concept, but did not immediately catch on perhaps due to the rather high price of the black belt device and insufficient marketing. A few other black belt printers project emerged such as Robot Factory Silver Belt, the White Knight from Naked, also Nick 3D and this Power Belt 3D Zero. But none of these took off in the market. Then in the past few months, two key things happened. First, Clarity announced they are developing a belt 3D printer that is set to be released in November. It seems to be a project based on White Knight's design and coordinated by supermaker Naomi Wu, who was interviewed about the CR30 belt 3D printer recently. The second bit of news is that Robot Factory has suddenly announced a conversion kit 
that will allow almost anyone with a basic 3D printer to convert it into a belt 3D printer. This, if priced correctly, will allow thousands of individuals to directly experience belt 3D printing in addition to those using the Creality machine. Well guys, this was all about the belt 3D printer or the conveyor 3D printer. I hope you have some liked the video and if you want to see more such contents then please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to print your object or design then will be linked down the description box. Please go and check it out. Thank you for watching and keep printing.